Hi, I'm Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. Hey guys, my name is Chris Rakestraw. I'm the producer and engineer of Megadeth. Hello, uh, my name is Stanley Soares. I'm the front of house of Megadeth. And we're going to talk to you today about Waves technology. And I'm going to actually talk about some plugins that I like to use to mix Megadeth live. So I have a SSL console at my house. So we do a lot of the recording for the last two albums. Specifically, one of the songs that you can hear uh, Waves technology in the song Soldier On. Yeah, that was the uh, H delay plugin. And it's a ping-ponging delay that happens in a bridge in that song, and then all the music comes back in. Really cool effect. Today I'm doing monitors for Megadeth Live, and I'll show you a couple plugins that I'm using today. On Dave's guitar, you can see I'm using one of my presets, the Victoria Heavy Rhythm Guitar on Dave's guitar. Uh, I'm familiar with this plugin from using it in studios for a long time, so it's really easy to get a good sound with equipment that I'm used to. And the EV2 sounds amazing. Really proud of that plugin. Next up. Lately, I've been using the PSE from Waves on Dave's vocal. Depending on the venue, with, uh, with the ambience on stage, I might adjust the range a little bit more or less, if the venue sounds good or not. And oftentimes, I'll measure the snare with a laser ruler and adjust my ducking for the distance. Another plugin that's extremely important when working with Dave is the F6 on his vocals. This allows me to control the low end proximity from the microphone and cut out some mid-range and you can see I'm barely boosting any high because Dave sounds good anyway. I have the CLA just barely taming a couple of peaks and the CLA 76 on the back end of that. More for a tone thing than anything. I have in my master bus two of my favorite ones. Um, the SSL bus compressor, which is here in front of me. And also a little bit of like a L2, but I'm not doing much to be honest, just to keep like, you know, the ceiling, you know, in check. <clears throat> and the um, DG Master EQ um, chain, if I might call this chain. So I, because I mean, I only use the portion of the EQ. I really like the way it sounds. It's super silk smooth and it, it does add something like a, you know, flavor to the, to the mix. I love to use once more F6 in conjunction for like a SSL, um, you know, channel strip on my master fader. Here is a little bit of my guitar chain, which um, I'm used for Dave's guitar. It is like a, a sort of like a emulator from like a, some consoles. Like, you know, I think if I'm not mistaken, this does like SSL, uh, I think this is EMI and this one is Neve, something like that. So I use this one to get the signal first, and then I use the F6 to kind of grab some of the areas that sometimes poke a little bit. And this lovely EQ here for doing some shaping. We've been using this software for such a long time, it's almost normal to think about it being part of our rig, and it's abnormal not to have it. It's 100%. 